In this video, I'll be going over dividing fractions word problems. The tip of the lesson is when we are splitting and separating something into equal groups, we divide. We are going over two word problems with scenarios when we needed to divide fractions. For the first example, Joe has three-fifths of candies left. He is sharing these candies between four kids. What fractions of the candies will each kid get? When looking at this type of problem, the first thing that we want to look for is whatever that is being divided or split it up into equal groups will need to go first. In this example, what's being shared are the three-fifths of the candy, so this will be three-fifths. And how many equal groups are we dividing them into? As we can see from the example, there are four kids, so we're dividing between four kids. So we'll divide by four. So that would be the setup for this question. And if you want to look at it from a visual perspective, we have three-fifths of a candy. So three-fifths of the candy would be about this much of a candy remaining. And what we're doing is dividing among four kids. So we're going to take the three-fifths and divide among four kids. So it would look something like this. And this is equal groups of four. And we want to find out how many candies does each kid get. So essentially what we want to do is we want to find out how much does each kid get? So that's the setup. 3 fifths divided by 4. So going back to the word problem, 3 fifths divided by 4. When dividing a fraction by a whole number, we need to first convert a whole number to fractions so we can divide them. And 3 fifths need to divide it by 4 over 1. Whenever we are converting a whole number to a fraction, we will add a denominator of 1 underneath it, but that doesn't change the value of the whole number. It still remains 4, as 4 over 1 is still 4. So now we have this 3. Now we have a fraction dividing by a fraction. So the next step, we would need to keep, switch, and flip. So keep would be 3 fifths, so we would keep that. The division would switch to multiplication. And the 4 over 1, we would need to flip. So 1 goes on top, 4 goes on the bottom. It will become 1 over 4. And that's how you divide fractions by fraction. So now we can multiply across, so 3 times 1 is 3, 5 times 4 is 20. Therefore, our answer is 3 20th of the candies will receive by each kid. Now for the second example, Thomas has a rope that is 12 feet long, and it is being cut into one-third pieces. How many pieces will Thomas split that rope into? So first thing we want to look at is what are we trying to divide here? Based on what we see from the word problem, the rope is what we are trying to divide. And how long is the rope? Well, it is 12 feet long. So basically from the visual side, you can see we have a 12 feet rope and we want to divide them in one third of a foot like so and there'll be many more and we want to know how many of the one third feet are there so to do that we would take the 12 feet divide it by the one-third of a foot and that will give us number of pieces of rope 
Okay, so now we have the setup. So we can go ahead and divide. So we have 12 divided by 1 third. So dividing a whole number by a fraction, we need to first convert the whole number to a fraction. So 12 here. So what do we do when we need to convert a whole number to a fraction? We will add a denominator of 1 underneath it. And that will still remain 12, but it's 12 over 1 now. And we're going to divide by 1 third. And now we have the setup ready. 12 over 1 divided by 1 third. The next step is to divide the fractions by using keep, switch, and flip. So 12 over 1 is what we keep. Then the division will become multiplication. And then we will flip the fraction 3 over 1. And now we can multiply across. 12 times 3 is 36. 1 times 1 is 1. So that means there are a total of 36 pieces which Thomas will split the rope into. So these are two word problems that involve dividing fractions. The first one takes the object and split into equal groups, where the second one takes the object divided by the size of the equal pieces to get the total count of pieces that would be divided into. And we use keep, switch, and flip whenever we divide fractions. If you ever wonder why we do keep, switch, and flip, I do have a video that explains that in detail. And you can view that video at the end of this clip. Hopefully this video is helpful to you and thank you for watching.